Today we're looking at FreePick versus Crea, which are two of the most popular all-in-one content creation tools. But first of all, what is the perfect all-in-one tool and what should it be able to do? Well, there are thousands of potential use cases and various workflows, but the one that I use the most often is this. Let's say, for example, I wanted to have an AI influencer named Kira. Cool. Now, let's also say that I want Kira to be dressed as a Viking in a snowy landscape. Okay, sweet. I also want Kira to be walking in the snow with a voiceover telling a story about a Norse god that she recently conquered, complete with sound effects and overlays to give it that really cinematic feel. Guided by Odin's raven feather and wielding her enchanted blade, Kira struck down Rimvalder. The frost god fell, the blizzards ceased, and Kira's name became legend. Perfect. So yeah, if there was an all-in-one tool that could pull all of that off, then that would be awesome. First of all, how did I even create that video? But let's talk about all of the individual tools that I used to create that video. In terms of creating the AI influencer and generating the image, for a long time, I used this tool called Artflow. And with this, you can clone yourself or create a character by clicking this button. You can upload all of your reference images and create that character. For image upscaling, I use Magnific. As you can see, this adds a lot of detail and realism. Photoshop is what I use for any sort of image editing. So in this case, I can take my original image and then click Generative Expand, and now it's going to fill in the margins. From here, I can just draw certain areas wherever I see fit, and then I can just type in whatever I want to appear. So in this case, I'm saying a giant Norse god, it's laying on the ground, it's on fire. And as we can see here, I can kind of just cycle through the various options that it gives me here. In terms of bringing the image to life, I generally use Kling AI. And Kling, in my opinion, is still one of the best video tools out there. For video upscaling, I use Topaz Video Upscaler, and this will just add that really high quality look to the videos. Pinocchio Face Fusion is what I use to repair the face if there's any sort of distortion. So for example, if this is your original character, and if you sort of lose the facial details of your character, it will basically take this original face and put it back onto your character so that you always maintain a consistent face. For the music, I use Suno AI, and this will allow you to type in a prompt and it will generate any type of music that you need. For sound effects, I use Eleven Labs. And for this, you can simply type in whatever sound effect that you need and click generate. For overlays and B-roll, I generally use story blocks. So for example, typing in ash overlay gave me a bunch of these different clips where there's kind of just ash floating around in the air. And that's how I was able to get these ashes in the scene. And then for the voiceover, again, using Eleven Labs, here you just put in your script and hit generate. And finally, putting it all together, I use Premiere Pro. So the question is, how many of these individual tools can I get rid of by simply switching to an all-in-one tool like FreePick or Crea? Now, before we jump into features, let's address the elephant in the room and talk about price. Like most tools, you give them a certain amount of money and in exchange, you get a certain amount of credits. So what is that actually worth and what does that actually mean? Well, that is the greatest unsolved mystery of our generation. However, here's a sort of baseline for reference. For example, here on FreePick, if I were to sign up for the premium plan, that's gonna cost about $39 per month. And as a result, I'm going to get 45,000 AI credits per month. And so here inside of FreePick, if I wanted to create a video, I can come right here to custom and I can choose my video model. And let's just use Hilaw for example. The question is how many videos would I be able to create per month? And so when it comes to free pick, if I'm spending that $39 per month after calculating it out, that would give me about 111 high law videos. And so that means I would be getting roughly 28 videos per $10 that I spend. Now, comparing that to Kriya's max plan, which in this case, this is $60 per month, and they kind of measure their usage on these computing units. And if I wanted to create that same video, I could come over here and change the model to Hilaw and use the same exact model over here. And so what this means in English, if we were to compare this to FreePick, after calculating the usage, if I'm spending $60 per month on Crea, 
I'm going to get about 229 high law videos out of that, which basically means I'm getting 38 videos per $10 that I spend. So as much as people like to boast about how many credits they're getting with free pick, again, at the end of the day, credits don't actually mean anything. It's a gazi, it's a wazi, it's a woozy, it's a fairy dust. It doesn't exist. And so in terms of value per dollar spent, you're actually getting more value with Kriya. Now, obviously you could come over to Hyla itself and spend $95 per month and get unlimited generations, which is clearly the best choice in terms of value if you're creating a lot of content. But there is value to these all-in-one tools where you have access to many different models for images and videos because sometimes different models are better for different use cases. By the way, if you wanna see how I track the top performing niches and videos so that I always know what kind of niches are performing the best, I have all that information in the Creator Secrets community on school, along with all the prompts, tools, and resources that you need to create these kind of videos, in addition to the monetization strategies that will turn your views into money. The link for that will be down in the description below, so be sure to check that out. So the question is, would I be able to replace Artflow using FreePick and Crea? Well, here in FreePick, if I come down to character, we can see I have a few models here, one of Sierra, one of me right there, and of course our character Kira. Now coming into Kriya, if I come right here to train, we can see that once again, I have the ability to create my own characters. And here I have one of me, one of Sierra, and one of Kira. And after testing both free pick and Kriya, do a really good job of creating these characters. They're both using Flux under the hood, and so the results are very good on both. Okay, moving on to image upscaling. Here in FreePick, if I pop open the menu and we come down to upscale, I'll bring in this image of me as a constipated Viking, and I'll just leave everything on the default and hit upscale. And so here we can see that it did improve the image a little bit. However, it completely changed the character into someone else, which is pretty standard with these upscalers. And again, that's why I use face fusion to repair the face later. But overall, I'd say it did pretty good. Moving on to Kriya's upscaler, if I click enhance, and we drop our constipated Viking here. Again, leaving everything on the default, I'm just gonna click enhance. And looking at the end result here, again, it did a pretty decent job, but of course changed me into a completely different person. Looking at the back of the chair, you can see how much Kriya really uses its own imagination to add various details. I could, of course, adjust all of these settings over here on the right-hand side, but again, for these tests, I'm just going to leave things on the default settings. What I will say is that Magnific definitely turns out better results, but FreePick and Kriya do offer a decent job when it comes to upscaling. Now, will I be able to do the same things I can do in Photoshop in terms of expanding the image and adding characters into the background? Well, coming back to the menu in FreePick, if I come down here to expand, here I can simply size my image down to something like this and then just hit expand. And now we can see it's went ahead and filled in the margins. I can keep clicking this arrow to kind of just generate new variations if I don't like the first one. This seems interesting where she's in this town, so I'll select that. Now coming to this retouch feature, and similar to Photoshop, if I select this lasso tool, I can kind of just create an area that I want to modify like so. And let's just type in a giant monster. And so here now it's gonna show me a few variations. So now coming into Kriya, if I click edit, just for fun, I'll bring in my constipated Viking once again. And now I can just expand this area to be as big or as little as I want. So we'll do something like that and I'll just hit generate. So from here, if I don't like the generation, I can click regenerate. And now if I wanna modify certain areas, I can click change region. I'll use the paintbrush to paint in whatever area that I want to modify. And I have no idea how it's going to pull this off. But once again, I'll just type in a giant monster. And so as you can see, it's added this sort of monster engraved into the wall, which I guess is 
a pretty creative way to pull that off with this type of image. I think that's a pretty good job. So yes, in terms of generative fill, both FreePick and Crea allow you to do the same things that you could do in Photoshop. In terms of image to video, we already know that both FreePick and Crea can pull that off using a number of different video models. Although I would still be using Hyla or Runway separately for the majority of my video generation since those tools have unlimited plans. Now, in terms of video upscale, as far as I'm aware, FreePick does not offer this option. Crea does have the ability to upscale video, but as we can see here, most of the time it actually just makes the video worse. And I have played around with the settings, but no matter what I do, it kind of just makes the video look worse. So technically Crea does have that functionality, but it's pretty useless for the most part if it's not actually going to make the video better. So in this case, I would still need to be using Topaz. Now moving on to Face Fusion. Again, the primary use case for this is when you are upscaling or animating various clips, a lot of times you will lose the facial details of your character. And Face Fusion is how you can bring that original character's face back on to the character. And so as far as I'm aware, neither one of these tools have Face Fusion functionality. Okay, moving on to music. Coming back to the menu again on FreePick, if I come down here to Tunes, FreePick does have a sort of stock music library that you can use. So technically you do have that ability, but your selection is relatively limited and you can't really generate specific types of music like you would be able to inside of Suno. And in terms of Crea, they don't offer this ability at all. As far as sound effects go, neither FreePick or Crea have the ability to generate sound effects. However, with B-roll and overlays, if I come over to FreePick and come down to videos, FreePick does have all kinds of stock footage and you know B-roll clips that I can use. So if I were to type in Ash Overlay, we can see that I do have some overlays that I can use to, you know, layer on that those ashes onto the clips. So FreePick does have a pretty decent selection of stock footage and overlays, while Crea definitely does not have any sort of library like that. Okay, moving on to voiceover. If I come over to FreePick, they do have this little button for AI voice generator. And so here I can click this to choose the voice that I want. Then I can simply type in my script right here and click generate. So FreePick does have the ability to create voiceovers while Crea, once again, does not have this functionality. Now, in terms of the final edit, neither tool offers the ability to edit in the same way that you could on Premiere Pro or CapCut or DaVinci or you know a program like that. And so you'd still have to use a separate editor. So overall, you are spending a little bit more money on FreePick, but you also might be saving a little bit of money if you're not paying for things like Storyblocks. And FreePick also has a lot of these other little graphic designers tools. So if you're somebody who's, you know, creating websites or doing graphic design or, you know, creating logos for people and stuff like that, FreePick would be a lot more useful for that type of person. However, in terms of the core AI content creation functions, I still slightly prefer Crea just because I like their UI and it is a little bit cheaper. And Crea also has a few of those, you know, little side functions as well. They originally became famous for this animator function, which basically allows you to fuse multiple images in this timeline sequence. The benefit to using each tool individually is that each tool generally has more nuanced features if you're using the UI directly within the tool itself, rather than using a third party all in one tool where you're simply accessing the model via API. So overall, I think these tools can save you a little bit of money by removing a few of you know the extra subscriptions that you're paying for, but I certainly wouldn't use them as my primary video generation tool. And I don't necessarily think there's any clear winner here. It kind of just depends on your specific use case. At the moment, I'm not sure that there's any all-in-one AI content creation tool that really nails all of these things perfectly, but I'm sure we're not too far away from seeing one that really gets it right. Also, creating AI content is cool, but it doesn't really mean anything unless you can make money. And so if you want to see how to monetize your content effectively, be sure to check out the Creator Secrets community on school. In any case, that's pretty much it for this one, and I will see you in the next video.